So it's been a lot of fun to watch Rigetti Quantum Computing on its rally since March and April. They just had their earnings call and they released a 36 qubit quantum computer. They announced this in their earnings call just a couple of days ago. And we've actually seen the stock price starting to trickle back to its all time highs or close to its all time highs. And we closed above a critical key level today, which we weren't able to do yesterday in the backdrop of a market that was a little bit shocked from some data that came through. So we had Rigetti again with a late day rally. And I want to show you all kind of what I'm seeing and give you my interpretation of where I think this might be going. So first of all, for Rigetti, what we need to look at is look to the left, right? We have this trading history above 1750 of only really like a couple days. We looked on the channel last night and what's exciting is today we ended above 1750. So, so this gray line here is that kind of that 1750, 1752. And you can see yesterday we wicked above it, but we didn't close above it. And today we actually closed above it. And I'm going to show you something that I think is quite interesting. The last time that we were above 1752 within two trading days, we made all time highs. I've just got our calls and puts open here from the total trade volume. And as you can see, there's almost a two to one bullish ratio on the total call volume in the open interest. It's more like one to one, but today a lot of bullishness came into the ticker. And what did we close at? We closed at 1798. So just shy of $18. And if we look at extended hours, this is where we're going to start looking at what's developing pre and post market, because that can also be an indication of what's potentially coming with Rigetti. So we can see post market is closed and there was some bullishness going into the close. So we're, we're going to want to watch Rigetti in the pre market tomorrow. As we can see, both of these days, we've had this push late in the market day. So there's definitely a lot of optimism that's building up in the ticker and there's a big gap to fill. So what do I mean by that? I mean, look right here above the 1750 line all the way up to about that 2156. That's where Rigetti is likely to want to move because Rigetti wants to retest its all time highs. Now there's something that I talked to with, with you all last night on the channel and I want to bring up again with Rigetti, which I think is important. I've given it more thought. I asked channel members, I brought it up today um, in the discord and one thing about Rigetti, they've already kind of given us that $400 million offering, right? Which has given them a lot of runway. So look at this spike here. Finally, Profit Viz, Viz has updated. They don't have a lot of debt and they have a ton of cash, over $600 million of cash. All of that while keeping OpEx flat. So the chances that Rigetti is going to dilute again, even when they're not killing it on revenue, I would say there's potentially a less of a chance. Now, a couple of things that I would note as well with Rigetti is their operating income while negative is predictable. Their OPEX is actually fairly flat. There's So I'm going to bring up D-Wave because D-Wave is another quantum company, and I'm going to give you a comparison and see why I think there might be some merit to that. So now I have D-Wave Quantum Computing pulled up and I wanna show you some of the differences. First of all, we see an accelerating operating income loss. We see an accelerating spend on free cash flow, an accelerating loss on operating cash flow. Cost and OPEX is going up. All the hires they're making, they have to pay those salaries. All that advertising and marketing they do, they have to pay for that. However, their cash and equivalents has also been considerably bolstered. 
Does this mean that they will run a lean and mean business, or do you think they're going to spend more to accelerate their revenue pipeline? We will see. But I think of the two, I think Rigetti has a more predictable operating income and cost in OPEX. And I believe that what that is going to turn into is a scarcity. So the shares, there's only a certain number of shares of Rigetti. And Rigetti has this 36 qubit computer that has been released, but within just a few months, right? We're in the middle of August. As I record, this is August 14th. So we have September, October, November, December. We have four and a half months left of the year. And within those four and a half months, Rigetti's already said they're going to release a 100 qubit chip. Now, this is a new computer release. I do not think this is priced in currently. In fact, if we really, if we really want to look at Rigetti's chart as far as like sentiment and, and things being priced in back here, this just straight up sort of move with Rigetti was a super unhealthy way for the stock to move. And that's why it plummeted down to six, five, six dollars and why there were multiple buying opportunities at six dollars because it was just an unhealthy move. But what you're seeing is since March and April, you've seen a, a slow and steady climb on Rigetti. And the thing is, Rigetti's in a good situation. So I'm, obviously I can't tell the future. I can't say that Rigetti is never going to dilute again. It's possible they will need to for an acquisition or if they, they wanna bolster their cash position more. But I think of the two companies, Rigetti's less likely, which means that their shares will be more scarce. And what's interesting is when we look at D-Wave's shares and we look at Rigetti's shares, they're about the same price. So these companies, like if we look at the market cap of D-Wave, we have a $6.1 billion market cap. We look at the market cap of Rigetti, 5.83. So these, these come for a very long time, Rigetti was, their stock price and their market cap was higher than D-Wave and for the last few months, D-Wave has been the king between these two, and now they're getting closer. And I think the bullishness is warranted because it's one thing to promise hardware, right? We've seen the biggest companies in the world. We've we, like Tesla, for example, we've seen RoboTaxi promise since 2019. Next year, it's coming. It's one thing to promise. It's another thing to deliver. So Rigetti isn't promising the world, but when they say they're going to do something, they've executed on that in 2025. So that leads me to believe as an investor in Rigetti that they're going to also execute on their 100 qubit chip, which puts Rigetti, I believe, in a very bullish setup to potentially retrace to all time highs and maybe blow off top and go through. So let's talk about some potential scenarios. So when we look at the Rigetti rally, there's been a couple 33% candles. There was a 33% candle on May of 2025, and there was a 22% candle in late July. We're having some nicer candles lately as this bullishness accelerates. How is Rigetti, if it is going to move up, how is it going to move up? So it's already off the rising support. It's already well above the 50 day moving average. What we could see is maybe where it closed that act as support. And we could see something like this. Potentially, we could also see something like this. A rejection and back down to 15. I am very bullish on Rigetti and I do want to re-emphasize that today the the backdrop and the macro wasn't very good. The markets were flat. A lot of high beta stocks were selling off and Rigetti still had a phenomenal day. I'm personally very bullish on Rigetti. How about you? Let me know in the comments. Are you positioned in Rigetti? Are you positioned in any of these quantum stocks? Let me know what you're predicting. I think it's going to be a fun next six or seven trading days for Rigetti specifically. And that's always assuming the macro and backdrop holds up. Had a lot of fun making this one. Hope you enjoyed this content. We'll see you in the next one. 
I hope you really enjoyed the content. I work really hard to deliver high quality content every day. If you would like to support my website and YouTube channel, I have three different membership options. I have the Quantum Bull, Gold Bull, and Diamond Bull. And each of those options has unique perks. If you'd like to join, just simply go over to the YouTube, click the plus button, and you can learn more and pick a level that's right for you. Thanks so much.